my name is Joey and I am a sophomore in industrial engineering at Iowa State. Hi everyone, my name is Sierra. I am a senior in industrial engineering here at Iowa State. And for those of you who aren't familiar, industrial engineering is simply uh, one of the engineering majors that deals heavily with um, process improvements and the human element. So while you might have a mechanical engineer that designs a product, the industrial engineer is going to be the person that looks at, you know, how does that material move through a plant? Um, how does it affect operators? Like, does it hurt their back? And also, what are some of the financials are related to that? So we look at engineering economics as well. So we kind of look at the whole picture as opposed to looking at one product or one process. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Before we get started with our Protect the Pringle activity, we just want to verify that everyone has all of their materials, first being Pringle. Also, copy paper or regular paper. And then you want to check to make sure that you have your masking tape ready. In the Protect the Pringle activity, we are going to be using the engineering process to create a container safe enough to get the Pringle through a series of unknown challenges. And so the engineering process begins with asking what the problem is. And then you're going to imagine different solutions that can be used to solve that problem. And then selecting a solution and planning on how you're going to create this solution and then building the solution itself. And then finally, reflecting on how your solution performed and how you can improve it to better protect the Pringle. So the materials we're going to be using today um, are two Pringles per group, 10 sheets of copy paper per group, and two meters of masking tape per group. We are now going to design our capsule for our Pringle. Remember, it will go through three unknown tests. Here is what ours looks like. It is now your time to design and build. Stop this video and take five to seven minutes to design and build your capsule. Now it is time to test your capsules. Watch us perform the three tests and then complete them on your Pringle. Make sure not to change your design after watching. Now we're going to conduct the first test, which is dropping your Pringle in containers from shoulder height. Did your Pringle make it? Test number two, can it survive pennies from waist height? For the third test, we're going to be submerging our container and Pringle into a tub of water. So we have a new Pringle because our Pringle did not survive the second test. Same contraption though, we did not change contraption. Wow, it's actually trying to float. So, oh. Make sure you fully submerge it which we have. Let's see if our single survived. Wow. It's dry. It's wet. There it is. I mean, it's still in a One piece. But it is wet. Very soggy. It is now your turn to test your Pringles. 
Stop this video and perform the three tests. Now take some time to pause the video and think about these discussion questions. When you are done answering them, you can continue watching the video as we will discuss some of the answers. Hi, so as you just saw, Jilly and I went through all of the steps of the engineering process. But what was really important was that during our imagine or our brainstorming step, we wrote down all of our ideas before evaluating any of them. So we made sure we got every single idea on the page. And then we went back and through, looked at our ideas and picked the one that worked best for us. Once we had that idea, we made a plan. So we drew the design that we showed you all earlier. And once we had the plan, we created it, as you also saw. You might have noticed that the design that we had on the paper was slightly different from what we put together. As we were working through the process, we noticed that some improvements might have been better. So we decided to improve it right then and there on the spot. Even after conducting some of our tests, we noticed that there were better ways in which that we could have created our container because it didn't survive test two and it didn't survive test three. Um, and an extended version of the engineering process, you have the research step. The research step can also often tell you different tools or ideas that have been previously used to solve your particular problem or problem similar to it. And it also tells you constraints. Another word for constraints are limitations, so things that you're not able to do due to certain factors or characteristics. So had we done our research and known what tests could have possibly been brought our way, we could have prepared to ensure that the printer would be safe from water or from the weight of so many pennies. Um, but now's a really great time, if you have the time to do so, to sit with your group and think about ways in which you could have improved your design. So our original design failed the second test of a bag of pennies being dropped on it because it didn't have enough support around the Pringle to protect it. So in a redesign, we may want to uh, put more pieces of paper around it to better support the Pringle. So in noticing for the third test, why our design failed, it was essentially because water was able to get through the paper. So in a redesign, we consider potentially lining the inside of the paper with tape, since the tape seemed to be water resistant, um, and covering the tops with tape as opposed to like fully with tape as opposed to using the paper, since the paper was not a good protector. In terms of having knowledge of the test prior to doing a redesign, that would have been really helpful just because the word protect can be pretty general. And if you think of protecting, you might just think of covering. You know, you have a protective covering, that's a common phrase. And so when you know the test that the Pringle are, is gonna be undergoing, then you know exactly the ways in which it needs to be protected. So had we known the test beforehand, we would have known that the Pringle needs to be able to withstand impact from gravity because we were dropping it from shoulder height. We would have known that it also needs to be able to withstand a certain weight, which was the weight of the pennies, in addition to you know elements such as water. All of those require different protections, and we didn't plan for all three of those protections because we weren't aware of the test. If we were aware of the test, we could have better prepared for those protections. Initially, I thought that the hardest test to pass was the water submersion test, um, just because the paper got really wet. But then Joey brought up really great points as to why the penny test was actually the hardest. And I agree now. Yes, I said that the penny was the hardest because it, with the given materials of paper and tape, it's hard to create a, a protective barrier against that, that amount of weight and protect the Pringle in the end. This activity is actually applicable in the real world. Some things to consider are gift wrapping for holidays or birthdays, and then on a larger scale, package wrapping, um, which is often what the US Postal Service and other shipping and parcel services deal with. So they have to ensure that their customers package their items in a way that is going to protect them. So that way they are not liable or at fault for damaged goods when they ship them. Um, Services that choose to package items for their customers include things like bubble wrap, or sometimes you'll see um, like really thin cardboard type paper surrounding items or 
other times they might actually use a smaller box inside of a larger box to prevent movement um, from any direction. So these are some examples of some real world applications and terms of packaging goods or gifts. Um, and another real world example is building, creating buildings and designing buildings that can withstand uh, weather uncertainty, be that wind or rain um, and whatnot. You want to make sure that your building is going to be standing and that everything inside of it is going to be safe at the end of the day. If you have time, you can now try and redesign your capsule. You can try to make your Pringle survive all three tests or just one specific one that it may be failed the first time. Thank you so much for participating in the Protect the Pringle activity. Again, I'm Sierra. And I'm Jolie. And we hope you learned uh, something new or something useful about the engineering process to use in your future. Um, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.